Hello viewers, welcome back to another tutorial of the free cat doing Bing modeling. So in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create the internal walls in this particular demonstration house. So let's begin with it. Uh, just like we create the external walls, similarly we can create the internal walls like the reference of the structure slab and press the working plane here. Now we'll go to the sketcher workbench place a sketch on the flat face so we got a grid here now we can set some references like we like to have a wall starting with this edge of the wall and we can end it like here you can say create certain sets of walls you know so if we just rotate it you can see we have got reference lines below it is so because the reference plane is this the face of the slab so whatever references that you will take above that working plane it will automatically shift to the working plane where you're working where you want to place your objects so let's begin with the top view only so select the polyline let's begin with here so you see you're getting a snapping here this is the point is intersecting with the line so just click on it so we'll place a wall let's take another reference actually i want a wall to extend up to this so just simply click on this point and the line here and just press the this fix a point onto object so you see we got line up to there we're getting a flashing type screen here just close it uh, begin with sketch again so we can we can see the line is not straight just click on it and press the horizontal constraint now we have three degrees of freedom here one is this point reference this and this so Let's create the reference boundary here between these two points. Let this be a distance of 4000 mm. Similarly here. Let this also be, let this be 5000. And now we have this one. So, let this length be of 5000 so I close the sketch move to the arc workbench select the sketch and press the wall now you see we have got a wall made here we will make this wall dimension that is a width 200 or you can make it 150 so that's fine and if you want to change the alignment it's center right now you can change the left or we can have the right the left will be better so we have internal wall here you can add doors and windows and the same operation you can apply to the same internal wall here not a big difference so till now we have created the structure slab below the floor object this floor slab then we have the external walls internal walls doors and windows so in the next tutorial we'll be dealing how to create this ground floor and turn it into a floor object for the ifc exploration to explore into ifc format and for the bim so thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial